Okay, so we've created our UV maps now and we've arranged them nicely and neatly so we can identify each part. So what do we do with this information? Well, basically what we want to do is we want to take um, an image or a grab of this UV map and bring it into um, something like Photoshop or your painting um, application so that we can use these uh, images and these lines as reference to our object and create another layer and paint on it. So there's two ways of getting this information into Photoshop and I'm going to show you both ways. Um, I suppose one's a dodgy way and one's the, the correct way. First of all the dodgy way and the way that I've been doing it for such a long time is I basically select my UV window, resize it till it fits the complete screen. Then what I'll do is I will hit print screen. Then go over to Photoshop and basically create a new layer, Control N, and what it does is it creates the complete width of both of my screens and hit OK and then hit Control V. Now you can see I've got a screen grab of my whole desktop. Get the crop tool, go in and crop it down and then basically resize it until it fits our grid, our UV grid because we want to make sure that everything that we paint sits within this grid because that's all that will be seen. Okay and hit enter. Now I've got a um, basically a template or a guide that I can use to then start creating. What we want to do is we want to actually use a transfer mode so that we just see the lines and we don't see anything else underneath and you can try a few but the one I've found uh, works well is exclusion I believe so now if I get the paintbrush and start painting you'll see now that I'm painting on my layer but I've still got the information now this sort of gets tricky when you start painting black you sort of can't really see what's going on but you can try a few different transfer modes and from here just save out the image but one thing you got to keep in mind now is that the canvas size is only 850 by 849 so if we change that to a 2k resolution basically what we're going to have to do I just delete that is scale this up so that the image that we make a 2k image has got some decent quality okay so that's the way I've been doing it. I'm sure a lot of people do it this way um, but there's a much much easier way and a much uh, nicer and, and, and cleaner way and you get really nice high resolution lines and the way we do that is we create an EPS but now when I was trying this I came up with a bit of a um, challenge I created the EPS and it would not import into Photoshop and I found the reason why. Okay, Now with this particular model and not so much the examples what I've done is, is I've basically isolated an object and UV'd only a certain surface so then what happens is if I show you the display options, if I show points you'll notice that you get all these points and if I bring back the whole UV you notice that I got all these points all over the place and the reason for that is that these UV maps are still attached to geometry and these points here are references to that geometry okay so when I turn off show points I've got a nice clean map now if I was to try to export an EPS now with the whole entire object I will get an error okay so now for example if you've UV'd a complete object, this won't happen. But say you did what I did and you only um, UV'd certain surfaces, what you're going to need to do is select polygon mode and you want to select the whole UV, okay, and you want to hide the unselected, okay. So now all we've got is the UV information, the polygons that refer to this UV. Now what we can do is we can go up to file, export, oops, export EPS, 
Okay, now, so to take this into Photoshop, basically what we want to do is, well, first of all, view, we want to choose the texture UV. I mean, you can do all of them if you like, depending on what you're doing. Um, as far as draw, get, draw grid and draw points, not necessary. Choose your um, export uh, file location. And what we want to do is we want to leave it to size fit in page and these are the default settings and I'll rename this to 5000 UV it doesn't really matter what you name it to and hit OK okay so here we are in Photoshop so what we do is basically go up to file open and we select our EPS and hit open now we get this dialog box which is really really cool because what this does is it allows us to determine our canvas size Okay, because this is kind of like the vector graphics where, um, you know, if you resize it, it keeps its um, quality. So, what we can do is if you want to create a 2K or a 4K image, simply just go in and type in, in this case, 2K and it constrains the proportions. So, now we're basically going to be working in a 2K canvas. Um, and for the mode, you want to change that to RGB if you're saving out JPEGs and stuff. I mean, you can do it later, but off doing it now and hit OK and as you can see we get really nice clean lines as opposed to this pixelated screen grab which we can then use to um, start painting now before we start painting there's one more thing we need to do basically we want this um, UV information this image here to be um, on top of the rest of our work as our guide Okay, so for example, now if I create a layer and select it and paint black in that layer, well, you can't really see our um, EPS. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, what you do, I'll just turn that off. The easiest and simplest way to do this is basically control click on that layer, and what it does is it selects all that color information, in this case the black, and pick some obnoxious green we'll just full 255 by 255 and basically fill that deselect now what we've got is the same grid um, it's just that it's green at the moment <coughs> now what we can do is uh, select the transfer mode of exclusion and now if we turn back on our layer underneath what this does is basically as we go along and paint different colors the transfer mode is just literally excluding the green from that color that we're painting so that we can see what's going on okay this is probably the easiest way to do it you can see with the blue there's um it's not showing up as vividly but you can still see the outline you can try and try a few different transfer modes but I think this is the um, simplest way so there you go that's pretty much um, what we do with our UV information obviously this is a really silly example but I was just showing you how the different colors work with our um, EPS but obviously you can go in and choose a color Oops. and once again not paint I should actually just lock that so we select our um, underlying layer and you can go in and literally paint exactly as precisely as you like keeping in mind that it doesn't really matter if you go outside the lines when you're painting because whatever's outside those lines will not show up on the actual object itself so there you go that's basically what you do um, you then save out this image of your uh, texture and just apply it to your object so that's how it's done um, I, I hope it's helped and I'll see you next time